Tonight, Iowa House Republicans are pumping the brakes on a bill that would overhaul how the state provides services to students with disabilities. Yeah, it's one of the governor's top priorities this legislative session. Chief political reporter Amanda Rooker is in the studio this evening. And Amanda, there is not a lot of agreement on this one. That's right, Jody Lara. Lawmakers are split over this. Senate Republicans are ready to move forward, but House Republicans are raising concerns on the governor's plan. That plan would give school districts full control over how to use state and federal special education funding instead of automatically sending that funding to Iowa's area education agencies or AEAs. Right now, these nine AEAs provide services to all students with disabilities, along with general education resources to all Iowa school districts. The current version of the governor's bill that's not moving forward on the House side. That's correct. State Republican Representative Helena Hayes says Iowa House lawmakers are not advancing Governor Reynolds' proposal that would overhaul Iowa's area education agencies. Hayes says they're still exploring other options, but says there was too much concern to move the bill forward as is. I think in the House we had we had so much opposition to it. Every single one of us in all of our districts across the board had a lot of opposition. Iowa Democrats also opposed the governor's plan. Democratic Representative Sharon Steckman voiced her concern during a House subcommittee meeting last week. I would like to see us stop, slow down, take a good look at this bill, talk to the local experts. Because in the long run, whatever we do here is going to affect our children. The children that we're bringing up to look after us when we get older. Speaker of the House Pat Grassley told reporters that right now, House Republicans are meeting with parents, experts, and school and AEA staff. They're working on a new plan to reform AEAs. Grassley says it would still focus on improving transparency and accountability, but would also address repeated concerns from schools and parents. We just want to make sure that there's certainty over the next several years for school districts, and like I said, more importantly, certainty for parents providing, receiving these services, because right now we feel that's one piece that's being lost um, in the conversations. The Iowa Senate's taking a different approach. We know that it needs some work. And we're going to do that, so that's what we're doing right now. As chair of the Senate Education Committee, Republican State Senator Ken Rosenboom advanced the governor's bill out of a Senate subcommittee last week. He says they're also open to change, but plan to continue work on Reynolds' proposal despite differences with House Republicans. We want to help Iowa special needs students. We want to help all our students. We think it's important that we do something this year to, admit, uh, to uh, improve the situation that I think we're in, but I can't speculate what that'll look like. So what happens next in this process? Well, House Republicans say they're looking at a few things like creating a study committee to get more input from parents, students, and AEA staff. They're also looking at creating a separate bill to boost teacher pay that was one part of the governor's original bill. Senate Republicans say all options are on the table, but they have not released what specific changes they're planning to make. You know, time is ticking, though, because bills have to move at least through a few pieces of the legislative process by the end of next week in order to stay alive for the rest of legislation legislative session. And another key thing to note, a bill has to pass both the Senate and the House in order to become law.